Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to explain to you the process and the procedure of our project, the wooden igloo. British Columbia has extended the state of emergency caused by extreme weather until mid-December. With more than 5 million people living in its path, thousands were evacuated from their homes to disaster centers. The typhoon's rain band, nearly 550 miles wide. Take a look at this video right here. Devastation in Mayfield, Kentucky, after a tornado ripped through that town of about 10,000 people. The UN's migration agency says more than a third are living without any shelter at all. Many were left homeless when a camp in Lipo. So today what we're looking at is the um, tools that you'll need for building this temporary structure. To start off, I recommend that you find about nine uh, pallets, um, one that isn't too tight. And then we also would recommend that you get uh, two sheets of OSB, but plywood would also work. We also got one bale of uh, R14 insulation that we cut down, uh, lumber tarp. We are using six mil plastic, and this comes off of greenhouses. Um, again, you don't have to use this, you can use the blue or green tarps. Uh, we've used a lot of the shorter two inch screws, uh, three inch ones. Uh, I recommend plumber's tape, uh, some chain, and you're also gonna need a, a bolt uh, with two nuts um, on it. Uh, you're gonna need some PVC piping. So we're using two inch PVC pipe. You'll need three uh, two inch 90s and also a uh, coupler that has this particular uh, unit on it. You can buy these at your hardware store. They're oftentimes utilized for uh, air intake on furnaces and a duct tape. We'll show you where we need those. Uh, those are the items that you're gonna need. These are the tools you're gonna need. And we'll show you how they are implemented in a minute's time. Hi guys, so uh, today we're going to continue to uh, show you how to make the wooden ig igloo. There's a two kinds of uh, pallets here, the bad ones and the good ones. A smooth pallet, let's choose this one because this is a very good uh, pallet. So the first thing we do is uh, connect this one. You have to make sure that it's uh, level. You have to put some screw in it. Now, this is strong. So now we're going to uh, put the door on the wooden igloo and put it flash. Make it nice and solid, just right there. Okay, now we are going to install the hinges. But what makes interesting is we just use garden hose and as a washer, we use a can. This one and the bottom one, this is very important. Now we're gonna install this OSB plywood. We're gonna install it right here in order to make it more secure so it's gonna be hard for someone if they wanna get inside. Okay, right now we're gonna need this wood in order to support the door. So we're gonna use this old garden hose for the door handle. We have your average fiberglass insulation here. Um, it's best if you tear it into smaller pieces and then cut it into even skinnier pieces than it comes in in the package so that we can slide it into the wall. 
Now this may not be necessary in warmer climates, but uh, if you're dealing with uh, cold weather scenarios, you're gonna want some insulation in the walls here. Um, it's gonna make a big difference. I'm gonna tuck it in just like this. Once it's in there, spread it out. And then once the insulation is in, uh, you're gonna take a material, we have lumber tarp. Uh, you can really use anything that's gonna shed water. But um, what we've been doing is putting, uh, putting the white on the outside, uh, reflects the sunlight. If you wanted it to be warmer in there, you can do the black on the outside, but white on the inside looks clean. You can tell if it's dirty. And uh, you're just gonna be stapling it on over the outside of the pallet here uh, as water protection. So what we're doing here is we're putting in a locking system for the person who's staying in the shelter. What we've done is around the doorway, we've secured a chain with a double nut system, so it's really hard to undo. Back here, we have a piece of metal that we are going to use to clip the end of the chain onto. And you can secure it however you want. Uh, you can use a carabiner or something like this where it twists and it locks on. Now we put it so far back here because um, we don't want anyone to be able to put their hand through the doorway and be able to unlock it from themselves. So this is really designed to keep the person um, in the shelter feeling safe and secure because they are the only ones who can un undo the chain from the inside and it's really hard to get to from the exterior. Um, and we want to help sure they feel secure for when they're, they're trying to sleep because that's always a bonus. Now there's a second feature for this locking system which is, really, which is really cool too because not only can you do it from the inside but you can lock the outside too. So by closing the door there will be a hole through the wall here where you can pull the chain through and lock your belongings on the inside. So we'll have a nice lock just like that Everything inside is then locked in. You can keep your belongings safely inside if ever you have to leave. Uh, we're ready to put the roof on and the roof consists of two pallets. And we're gonna make sure it's flush with the outside of our wall pallets. So for this part, you're gonna take a two by four and you're gonna make the roof arch. Uh, for this part, you want about a foot overhang on the front and about four inches on the back. This is what we're gonna place the OSB on top so it'll make an arch and the rain will fall off the sides. So you can see the two by four is going to create a nice a high spot in the middle for our roof material. Now we've used OSB, but you can use anything for your roof material that's gonna have flex to it, and it's gonna um, be able to be screwed down and it's gonna shed the water off the side. So you'll see as I throw the screws in the side. Down the side, we're gonna push down on the plywood. Now we've got a nice, nice arch to our roof. So when we put our waterproof material over the top of it, the water, snow, etc., is going to shed off the sides. So what we're doing here is putting a waterproof cover on our roof. There's all sorts of materials you can use. You can use clear plastic, you can use tarps that you can find at the dollar store, or you can find this lumber tarp at, uh, it should be free at any lumber yard. Uh, what you want to do is fold it over the edges so that the water uh, comes off the sides without uh, going through the staple holes on top. So our roof material, we've extended uh, completely over the side and it's going to go down in a continuous little flow here all the way to the floor. Leave extra on the floor because what we've done is we've taken a piece of 1x4, anything that you can screw through, and we're going to tuck it under the edge of it and we're going to roll it up. And when you roll it, it grabs the bottom of the tarp and stays tight. Put some tension on it. So when we put the screws through the 1x4, that's going to keep the tarp nice and tight. You've got 
got water protection now on the outside of your shelter. So this is the finished product and now you can come inside and see how big is it and look at here. This is the advantage of this wooden igloo. I was sleeping in the tent and it's so comfortable because you can sit when you have a lot of room. You can go this way, but I would like to go this way. I get more air from the door and I can store some stuff here. And even sometimes if I'm bored, I can put my phone right here and just good to go, plug and play. So we are at the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy and like it. We still have lots of idea uh, how to put these things together, build it just like a Lego box. So it will be interesting. So if you guys want to know the next project, just click like, share, and subscribe in order to support us. Thank you. We love you. God bless.